Hello, welcome to Yap Factor on Zbox. Uh, and well, first things first, uh, if you're watching the show and you're on the Take Me Out page, uh, first of all, there's no shame in that. There's no shame in watching Take Me Out. Uh, but you should go over to the X Factor page because we're only going to broadcast on the Take Me Out page for the next few minutes. Uh, we, we, you know, we could and we're working on automating that uh, because we are Zbox, truly embracing the future uh, dual screen era uh, like a dog on hot chips. Uh, so uh, <laughs> stay with us. So, and most importantly, go to yapfactor.com. You need to download your bingo card. This is the most important thing. You can actually win actual prizes. And we've even got testimonies like the best Nigerian websites uh, from people who have received their prizes. Signed photos of uh, JLS. I think the One Direction ones have gone, uh, surprisingly. Uh, the Jedward ones, bizarrely, are still available. You can win a signed photo tonight. All you have to do is download your bingo card from yapfactor.com. And I play against you. We've got the same things on our cards. I've got this big one because I'm so important. Uh, you can, well, you can print one out that big if you want. Uh, I mean, it would take a while. It would be a huge waste of printer cartridges. And you know how much they cost now. There's a recession on. Um, but uh, some people just draw them out and they've won. All you have to do is fill it in when you see each thing. When everyone says, I don't know, someone has a pop at Talisa. There you go. That would be one. Just cross it off. As soon as you get a line, be it vertical, horizontal or diagonal, uh, then send us uh, via Twitter a picture to at Yap Factor of your completed bingo card. And if you're the first person to do so, you can have your choice of a signed photo of JLS or Jedward. Um, so that's what you need to do sort of immediately because obviously you don't want to miss any of those opportunities now. Uh, but we've got plenty more uh, in the show for you. Uh, the idea is that we'll sort of come on mainly sort of during the breaks uh, and then that way you'll probably uh, die of kidney failure because you won't have had the pee. Uh, but there is Christopher <laughs> Maloney after all. Um, Christopher Maloney has been in the news this week. He's, he's gone off Twitter uh, because uh, he's had death threats. Um, and apparently uh, so has uh, so has Rylan, uh, which is terrible, terrible business. Um, I don't know why I did it. No, I, 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 I didn't. I didn't. Um, and also this week, uh, I wanted to show you this. Uh, there's been a spat. There's been a beef uh, on Twitter between uh, Talisa, one of the judges, and uh, Lord Sugar. Uh, Lord Sugar tweeted uh, to Simon Cowell saying, not wishing to be negative. It's as if he's in the room, isn't it? <laughs> not wishing to be negative. Get back here and do X Factor yourself. I think he means a favour. And chuck Talisa out. She knows nothing and talks rubbish. That's uh, Lord Sugar, the X Factor's key target demographic there, uh, <laughs> passing comment on the X Factor and Talisa. Um, Talisa always uh, takes the high ground, I think, at times like these. Of course, uh, just the other week, Gary Barlow said she had fag ash breath and she rose above it. She didn't come out with any kind of cheap swipes about him smelling red wine. Uh, and she, uh, she, she responded, I think, in a very dignified way. She said, you look like an ugly hobbit in your DP, lol. Now, I did a little Google of DP because I wasn't sure what that was. <laughs> but we'll talk about that after nine o'clock. Stop <laughs> tweeting about me and go and find some happiness. It's embarrassing, you miserable old man. Uh, there you are. Uh, basic grammar's embarrassing too, isn't it? If you can't quite get your head around it. But there again, uh, she's got millions of pounds and I'm almost bankrupt now. So who's the real idiot? Uh, hello, it's the Reverend Lionel Crabbing here. And of course, very sad week, isn't it, for Ella? Here she is, look. Poor Ella. I don't think any of us thought that she was going to be pureed in the blender uh, quite so early on in, in the proceedings. But, but there we are, you see. The X Factor moves in mysterious ways. Uh, I think we're all lamenting the loss of Ella. And uh, well, it made me turn to Lamentations uh, 114. Chapter 1, verse 14 of Lamentations. Uh, very briefly, uh, they have come upon my neck. <laughs> Why they couldn't have used the curtains like everyone else is beyond me. Uh, little eulogy for Ella then. Uh, Rylan, some say, is the fella who should have crashed out, not poor Ella. Others say it takes the piss. Can I say that? No. Yeah. no. <laughs> Mixed reception there. <laughs> that she has gone instead of Chris. But this week, Ella, it's your time. Cruelly snuffed out in your prime. Your lifeless doll, how cold you are. And we never learned how old you are. <laughs> Very sad indeed, but of course she has to go. They all have to go in the end. Aww. It's just the way of it. <laughs> it's just <laughs> this table, deceptively heavy table actually. I would, I would strongly recommend it. If you're ever thinking of purchasing uh, a table, a coffee table, that's made of glass. 
but looks like cheap acrylic. Just buy the acrylic one, <laughs> because just on a pragmatic level, and of course for infant safety, which is paramount, isn't it? Uh, or even adult safety, any kind of, just don't buy this stupid table, it sucks. <laughs> it's really heavy and I hate it. Right, let's blend Ella then. Let's see if it's still working after we threw it onto the floor. Right, there's the blender. There are the cruel, cruel blades of fate. Uh, but such is the way of it. This is the X Factor and she has to go. Get her little face. Hello, hello, she says, bye bye. Please don't, she says, please don't. Just put the goggles on. Uh, and it's time to say bye bye, bye bye, love, bye bye. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, so sad. Down she, down there. Yep, I think we've broke. I think we've <laughs> broken another one. <coughs> ah, remember all those cases of asbestosis? <coughs> I do hope Zbox is well funded. There we are. There we are. Uh, not looking so so happy now, and it is a very it's a very sad day. Uh, a nation in shock. I think is absolutely right. I mean, that's how we're we're all feeling. Uh, are you feeling that way? Now, uh, more to the point, let's get down to business. Uh, have you been doing the bingo? Did you download your bingo card from yapfactor.com? I hope you did, and if you did, you could already cross off at least a couple. Uh, I spotted audience booze, the judges, uh, and also uh, Nicole says baby. Ella gets name-checked. Was, name was Ella name-checked? Yeah. So that's another one, that's another one. Right, we'll cross it off then. You know what I've realized this show is basically, it's like an extended version of doing the birthdays in the broom cupboard. That's what it is. <laughs> Very happy birthday to Daniel. He's two today from mummy and daddy and auntie and aunt. <laughs> and Postman Pat's there. And when we lift up the flap, Christ, Postman Pat, what are you doing? That's disgusting. <laughs> Jesus. Right, uh, Ella name checked. Uh, where's Ella name checked? I don't know where it is. Bottom left. I knew that. It won't be there, of course, on your card because uh, you're using a different system. Uh, but there you are. I've, I'm already looking, looking good on the bottom. Um, although I'm not in real life. Uh, right, we're back to the show. Don't forget to keep voting who you want to see in the blender next week. Fill in your card. And uh, have you had a go on the caption competition yet? We're back. Uh, hello? Hello? S hello, Mr. Banker. <laughs> yes, she does, doesn't she? <laughs> Mr. Banker. Oh, you're incorrigible. <laughs> Mr. Banker, do you just wake up and laugh every morning the way I do that we've got a nation watching a TV program of one side of a phone conversation <laughs> and we get paid millions of pounds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that, Mr. Banker? I have glittering eyes that suggest I might be a complete nightmare to work with. <laughs> Yeah, she would, wouldn't she? <laughs> anyway, Mr. Banker. I'm so, Mr. Cowell. Mr. Cowell, how are you enjoying Yap Factor so far? <laughs> uh, well, that was fun, wasn't it? Let's see how we did with the results. Uh, we've, we've, we've had a few. First, of course, it was Ryland. He opened the show. <laughs> Surprisingly, perhaps, uh, there was actually one bar of save for Ryland. Uh, it kind of looks like his mobile before and after, doesn't it? Uh, voting for himself. Uh, also, Union J. How did Union J go? Uh, did better than Ryland, but still not not particularly good. I was surprised at that. You know, I thought perhaps they. No, I'm not that surprised uh, at that. Um, uh, and uh, we have one more. Of course, just now we heard Jarmaine. How did Jarmaine do? And better still for Jamie, but still, you want them all pureed, uh, which, you know, it's sort of, we're, we're turning into sort of collective uh, serial killers, really. It's like a sort of mock execution, isn't it, really? We're just, it's mob rule. We want more dead and more and more until we get found out in this weird little internet enclave. Um, now, uh, it's time for me to introduce you uh, to uh, Barnaby. Hello, Barnaby. <laughs> what? You're a bit shy. Barnaby's a little bit shy, are you? Yeah. And what, hang on. What's that you say? You can't stand Christopher Maloney. Can't stand Christopher Maloney and what's that? You'd rather listen to the sound of your own teeth being permanently drilled out than hear him singing tonight. Wow, Barnaby. 
You really don't like him, do you? I guess not. Barnaby has issues. Um, so, uh, well, lots of stuff coming in. Have you entered the caption competition yet? As I said earlier, uh, I, I had one, but it, it's just too rude. It's too rude. <laughs> Even post-Watershed at nine o'clock, it's just going to be too rude. Uh, we've had lots of reaction coming in. Uh, Jonathan uh, says, I think uh, the only reason that the X Factor is popular is because we all really hate it and like to complain about that. Uh, it's, it's a good point. I mean, you know, look at, look at, look at our elections. Uh, also, Abby says, uh, looking forward to X Factor tonight purely because I don't have to look at Ella's massive mouth <laughs> and bad pitched voice anymore. Harsh! Very harsh. And if you haven't got, you know, the ability to do an apostrophe of possession, well, quite honestly, you know, why should we, why should we take your judgment over her mouth? Uh, at least she can talk properly. Uh, also, Harry says, to be fair, to be fair, because Harry looks quite... Is that Harry... Is he off The Apprentice or something? Yeah. Yeah. Is he, does he talk like that? Because he yeah. looks like he yeah. blatant, blatantly talks like that. Uh, Harry's treated from a city bar. <laughs> to be fair... Anyone who says to be fair means I'm about to be really quite harsh. <laughs> to be fair, Talisa does have some expertise. No one better qualified to spot those fat notes. She knows all about them. Ran out of space there to actually finish the joke, you know. <laughs> Oh, Hazza, Harry, Hazmat, Hasbo, Hasbollah. Well done. Thanks for that, Hasboy. That was great. Really enjoyed that. Will says, not going to lie. I'm, I'm trying to do his voice just based on this, this photo. Not going to lie, yeah? This is the worst final five that X Factor has ever seen. Uh, well, there you go. Uh, just an opinion. Uh, please enter the caption competition. How are you doing with the bingo? We'll be back in a little bit. Oof. Did you open a window? Did that hum to you? Oh my God, I made vegan cheese this week and it didn't smell as bad as that. Um, crikey, uh, lots to talk about. Will Christopher Maloney get that semi? Uh, he's been, uh, ch ch semi-final. He's been ch still not, uh, there we go, 8.52. It's always around about that time that something slips through uh, and it was Chris Maloney's semi. Uh, so, um, <laughs> eight minutes till the watershed and exoneration. Uh, and of course we had James Arthur. Uh, the James Arthur formula, just so you know, if you need to know, is to take a song, uh, sing it round the first time, kind of uh, in a fairly normal way. So kind of go, don't speak, you know, just what I'm saying. You know, just what I'm saying. Don't tell me cause it hurts. And then the second time round go, don't speak, you know, just what I'm saying. You know, just what I'm saying. Don't tell me cause it hurts. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wasn't really worth waiting for, was it? Um, uh, so maybe we should look at the results. Let's look at some results. Uh, James, how did you feel about James? A what? A what? A save for Jack? What? Were you not there? I suppose it, uh, it's a bad bunch. What are you going to do? Look what I've done to my voice. Um, <laughs> crikey. Um, I sound so young and perky. <sighs> Well, what happened to that, eh? Um, uh, and also, uh, Christopher, what did you think of Christopher? Right! <laughs> yes. Have you something up, Fernando? You could almost hear him tightening his G-string. Uh, well done uh, for that. That was, I think, the right result. Uh, now, something I wanted to share with you, uh, I just adore, because uh, you have to think carefully. You have to think very carefully. The Misha B uh, adverts were already on our screens advertising her album. She was, of course, uh, in X Factor last year, and she didn't even make it to the final, but, you know, there she is. These people have their presence. Joe Swalsh is an I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here Now, still kind of gimping himself out and doing all the horrible cockroach tests, but not even to win the competition. Uh, but the point is, all these people have a presence, and they do things, and they're going to be doing things that they weren't necessarily, you know, in the competition to do. They're not necessarily going to be singing. They'll have memoirs out. They'll be doing TV presenting. And in the case of Ronnie Wood, they'll be doing... I, d I don't really... <laughs> what he, I think, describes as art. Uh, I, I don't know if you've seen these. They are stratospherically good. Um, these are actual paintings by Ronnie Wood and they are for sale for something like £60,000. You could buy this Ronnie Wood original. Just look at that! Also available in Woolworths. 